Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Have you guys ever heard of Federal Reserve Board Regulation D? Or why you can only take only six withdrawals per month from a savings account? So I found this out the hard way. I've had a savings account for, I don't know, like 34, 35 years, and I've never had an issue with it. Um, sometimes I do stuff on eBay and PayPal and eBay made us change over the way we do our payments and I had switched it over to a savings account very quickly and this last month I had 10 withdrawals out of that account that was not supposed to go over six and was not aware of it because I've never used that account like that before. Usually I always use my checking account at this time I didn't want the accounts to be together and it was a short-term thing. So most people figure this out the hard way is what I'm understanding because I have asked everybody and I've not had one person know what this is unless you've worked at a bank. So they have this so they reserve requirements so that they always have money on hand that they do not lend out which I thought that's why you have to keep like five to ten or fifty dollars or fifty dollars to start an account but there's also a limit on how much you can take out of it which is weird because it's your money and you're saving it and most people save money to do stuff with it but it guess it's how you take the money out so there are certain things that will give you a fee so of course if it's an overdraft if it's electronic funds transfer which is an EFT if it's an automatic clearing house, which is an ACH transfers, if you transfer it by the phone, a fax, a computer, or a mobile device, if you wire transfer from a phone, fax, computer, or mobile device, checks written to a third party, or debit card transactions, which I didn't realize this either, but my savings account is not allowed to have a debit card attached to it. So from after doing this and doing some research to find out more about this stuff, stuff coming on my account, apparently this has been around since the 1930s. After the Great Depression, they wanted to make banks more stable. But of course, during 2007 and 2008, during the financial crisis, they decided they were going to amend this regulation in 2009, allowing the banks to have more greater freedom. So then that's when they started limiting the six withdrawals per month remaining in the same institution. But at that time it was the checks, the ACH network, and the card-based purchases. So when all this stuff started in April 2020, the Federal Reserve discontinued the transaction and required reserving reserves that had made distinguish between checking and savings accounts unimportant. Additionally, the policy that you put in place during this pandemic had increased the reliance on the convenient transfers and the Federal Reserve's action allowed the bank to relax their limits on savings account withdrawals but not require them to do so. Which is funny that I haven't seen them lift it or really enforce it more so it's more up to the bank and the credit union if they want to continue doing this. But we still haven't completely got out of this pandemic yet and it has been a year but they still decided to take the money out of the account. So I just think that that's odd. I just thought that I would make this video and maybe make more people aware who weren't aware of it before because like I said, I've never used my savings account like that. And I didn't know that they could give you fees for taking money out of your own account. So if you guys know anything about this, leave a comment below, inform me because apparently I have to learn the hard way. So. I figured maybe it should help somebody else out. So if you have a savings account or thinking about getting a savings account, I'm sure they're going to probably tell you this ahead of time. But when I started my account 20, 30 years ago, I mean, this wasn't a big deal. I wasn't taking money out of the account like that. But I do think during a time like this when, you know, people do have concerns on money or money is tight right now during the pandemic, I really think that they should be waiving this right now. Hey guys, thanks for staying through the video. If you made it this far, please like, subscribe, share, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment below. We can always learn something new.